I'm Matt. Welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel. Today I wanted to take just a minute to show you a plant which I have in some abundance in my camp area. The plant is called the crane fly orchid. And the crane fly orchid is endangered in many places in the United States. So it's not a plant that I disturb regularly. Uh, I actually, when I first found it, I didn't know what it was because it's kind of a unique looking plant. I'll show you up close in just a minute. So I was curious about it and I dug it up and in the ground there's like a little white bulb it's actually called a corm and uh, according to my research online everything i find says that those corms are edible and that they're actually fairly nutritious that they're starchy somewhat like a potato now i have not eaten this personally um, but everything that i read says that it isn't edible however everything i read also says it's endangered so therefore i try not to disturb it but it is good to know and be able to recognize it and if you see it in your area then uh, it'll be nice to know that there is something there that if you needed it, you could eat it. Um, in wintertime is when you'll find this plant the easiest uh, because it has a very distinctive look. In fact, in my area here, there's mostly just dry leaves and stuff like that that's on the forest floor, very little green. But when I do see green, it tends to be one of two things in this area, either these crane fly orchids and there's some uh, partridge berry and moss mixed in. So um, it actually sticks out and is very visible uh, on the forest floor this time of year. So I'm going to zoom in and show you a close-up of it. And once you see it, this is one that you probably won't forget. Stick with me. All right, right here on center frame, you should be able to see what these leaves look like. The, the veins in these leaves run very linear. So they don't have the kind of crosshatch veins that a lot of plants have. Everything's very linear. It's a kind of a teardrop shape leaf, as you can see. And one thing that makes it stand out is the fact that there's not much green here. Uh, but another thing that makes it very distinctive and hard to misidentify is the bottom is a dark or deep purple color, or almost a violet in shade and purple shades mixed together. So it's a very unique looking leaf. Uh, it's actually very pretty to me. Um, if you were to dig down into the ground here, what you would find is some small white uh, bulb shaped or corms is technically the technical term for them. Uh, but you would find those down in the ground and that's the part of the plant that's supposedly edible. But I just wanted to give you a look at this leaf in case you have these in your area and you maybe wondered what they were. Or if you do see them, come across them, you'll recognize it and you'll know that that's the crane fly orchid and a plant that in, if needed in an emergency scenario could be eaten. All right, well, thank you for taking a look at this plant, the crane fly orchid. Uh, I would like to dig it up and actually, you know, experiment eating it, but I hate to bother it being that it's labeled as endangered. So I'm gonna leave it here for now, uh, not disturb it and let it continue to thrive in this area. Maybe at some point one day it won't be endangered. Uh, anyhow, I just wanted to show it to you and in case you come across it, you'll recognize it and just know that if you were in an emergency and you needed it, that's potentially an edible plant that you could utilize. Uh, again, just as a disclaimer, it's endangered, so I wouldn't recommend to mess with it or eat it. And two, I've never eaten it personally, so therefore I can't tell you that I have eaten it and that it was okay. But all of my online research does say that it is edible, and people who ha have actually eaten it make comments to that extent. Um, as much as you might trust internet sources. So anyhow, just wanted to show you the plant. That's what it looks like. If you see it, you'll recognize it. I appreciate you tuning in. Take care. Till the next one, God bless.